it's audiovisual, and welcome to what's up, fam? It's audiovisual, and welcome to the long-awaited, the long-awaited final episode of Obama Three, where we literally flip and release the level. I'm excited as frick. But before we release it, we gotta polish some things up, as to be expected, as well as do the end screen. So, yesterday's episode, it's all this. Flipping all that, oh my lord. And today, we're finishing it up. We're gonna polish it all out, so let's get started. Uh, just randomly, first thing I wanted to do. Point doesn't work right now, so if I'm as soon as I move this to the back, so let me make sure this is grouped at 215, right? Yes, so I'll delete this, and I'll make a toggle trigger over here, that toggles off 215, so then when you actually collect the collectible, it'll toggle it on once it's already off, instead of toggling it on when it's on, and it'll get toggled off independently. So, actually, real quick, I'm just gonna test the coin to make sure it's good. Um, you won't see this part, obviously, but I'll let you know if it's good once it's good. Coin doesn't work. I'm gonna tweak it again. You'll flip and see it when it does work, so... Oh, Lord. I literally forgot to freaking delete the toggle trigger, so that's probably why it doesn't work. I'll test it out, and if it's good, we're gonna go on to tweaking the gameplay. Let's go, with the coin working, let's tweak some parts of the gameplay. Not all the gameplay, but there's some parts I want to tweak real quick. Particularly the UFO part. I realized while well, because I um I just got done editing the episode where I made this UFO part, and I kind of hit that quirky notice that I actually moved the entire part up when I made it, and that probably is what freaked up the whole thing. So, and that should be literally infinitely more. Uh, Hugger. There we go. One of our biggest flobs is now our big hitter. Ooh, real quick, want to make this, uh, make a copy of this, uh, make it big, huge, and then make it 11, just so you'll always get into there, um, like that. So, what else do we need to do? Um, move this toggle, which fixed the stinky glitch, back like this, so you don't have to hit it late. Uh, the placement of this actual like collectible. You can, like, collect it on accident sometimes, so I'm thinking, maybe if I have you spam at this, um, part right here, you can get it, and I'll move this saw down a little bit. It's a coin, it's not like a main gameplay element. Heck yeah, that looks, that actually works perfectly. Awesome. Oh, right here. Um, this, with this saw here, the timing became extremely hard, so I'm gonna move it, uh, hecka downwards. Oh, shoot! I actually forgot to flip and make the move trigger thing for this like that and we're gonna, we're, we're gonna create a spawn trigger loop for this one so i mean you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make the other one move down so um i'm skipping past this part all right we got the spawn trigger loop working i kind of i tested it and that's where i stopped so it's right over here it's really simple um i'm gonna change the values from two to one though because i feel like two is a little too intense and then that'll be done and then we're gonna move on to basically just some miscellaneous things excited to be done with this level though i really am i really am I'm more excited to be done with the whole gosh dang series though, because if you are watching this video, that means I didn't die while making it, so bug. Um, I'm gonna replace the yomped text, because I don't know why, but it's gone. While I'm thinking about it, um, I'm gonna make a transition for this background. This one. Flip in rainbow spinny little boy. What I'm thinking is that, like, because these are gonna be rotated, so this one, it's gonna start, like, closed in on it and then the transition is just gonna have it moving out to like reveal the background so to speak so let me do that real quick all right we got the background done or like the transition into it. I think it looks really good and it's flipping super simple and it works super well so I'm I'm kind of mad happy mode with this one that little like red blip I want to get rid of that um, and that can be as easy as flipping what's it called uh, making the background black to begin with all right not that done. Well, it's flipping this time. Finally, we're gonna flip in redo the spikes in this part. After literally putting it off since episode three, we're, I'm doing it so montage of putting the spikes back. Go. When I say putting the spikes back, I mean like, like making them flash with the blocks and like rearranging them, so. Yes. The only thing I was actually worried about um, when rearranging the spikes is like inconsistently nerfing and buffing the part, but like I think it'll be fine. It's like this part got buffed and this jumped or this clicked it to like some of them, but then some of them got nerfed and I think uh, overall it should be fine. Like this is supposed to be an easy demon anyway, so like a smidge of timing 
won't kill anyone, except it will, because it's Geometry Dash. <laughs> Shoot! Looks pretty good. Check it out. All the spikes are done. I think it looks quite goochometer, so I'm happy with it. Never mind, we're not done, because I gotta do the spikes on these platforms. Oh my lord. Alright, now we actually got everything done. Check this out, we got those spikes platforms done, which is the only thing I didn't have done with the spikes. Anyway. Real quick, I'm gonna make these spikes, um, those custom ones I made earlier in the level. Big old boombometer. Basically, done with the entire level. I'm gonna cruise over it for a little bit and see if there's anything I'm missing. And I'll tune you in if there is anything I'm missing to polish up. But yeah, for right now, I think we're about to move on to the end art that I need to make, or the end screen, rather. So yeah, if there's nothing more to do than we're about to cut to that. Boom. Editing be like all right. I just played through it a couple times. I think we're good Obviously if I remember anything like while making the end screen, I'll take a break to do that Boot I suppose I mean the end screen that I have in mind is pretty similar to the one in Obama 2 Which I'll have a screenshot of it on screen right now cuz I'm a Gucci gangster like that. But it's just gonna say Obama 3 I'm gonna make it look a little better cuz I won't spend you know 30 minutes on it fun story time with audiovisual flip in the original Obama 2, the last 50% was finished in 17 hours, which was almost straight. I slept once, but um, the end screen was done in 30 minutes. It was very, 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 very rushed, so that's why I'm going to do a neat little Gucci Gangster. Actually, I'm going to call it a neat little Merry Christmas time lapse. Take that, Gucci Gangsters. You've been called out of building this um, end screen. I'll... If I really have to, I'll unpause to tell you some things that I think of or like stuff that I want to do in it, but it's going to be pretty basic. Maybe. I'm not sure. We'll flip and see, but uh, speed build. Merry Christmas speed build. Go. Alright, randomly while making the, like, the first line of the B, I had a really good idea. So it's just going to be O. <laughs> and then this the exclamation mark is going to move and it's just it's going to say Obama 3. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm like, let's go. All right, we got the words Obama done. I actually think they look quite Gucci Mo. I'm not gonna stinky Gucci on you, but yeah, I think they look pretty good. Same font as Obama 2's was, but uh, yeah, we're gonna have to flip in the Gucci Gangster team girl right here. Then like move across and like schmooze and be gamer. And then I suppose, I don't know how I'm gonna do the three, but I'll experiment with some things and see what I like, so. Yeah! I'm honestly very much not sure if I like this design, so I'm probably not gonna use it. So I think it looks kind of funky. So that just means back to the drawing board for Obama 3. I have an idea. I have an amazing idea. Are you ready? We're gonna we're gonna hit up homie group 76, right? He been through us with the thick and the thin. The thick and the thin, right? Oh, oh. We're gonna use him. We're gonna make basically what consists of a all right so here's what i'm thinking it's a little complicated but who cares we're gonna make like a glowy design that like where these are floating down and like pulsing randomly so it's gonna be like and then there's gonna be a three that appears like right here out of this it's just gonna be freehand to make it look nicer so that's what i'm thinking uh i guess um yeah we're gonna see me speed build that and if i don't like it well, i'll trash it halfway through so scoot, scoot. Alright, here's what the effect be looking like. I mean, 
Like, it's obviously, it's fine. I'm, I think it looks pretty good though. So I'm actually happy with it. So I suppose I'm gonna kind of mix these up to make a cool little sweeping effect. And then I suppose I'll make the three. And that should be the end of testing and then we'll upload the level. I mean, I won't upload it now, but I'll upload it like when you see it. So yeah, back to the Montag. So I pressed a line X and a line Y, and for some reason they decided this was the best way to align. So, so I don't know what's done with that, but it should be fine after I'm done. Yeah. Wow, this looks super good. Look at this. Look at that. Mm, that looks so nice with the hue variations. All right, let's make the sweeping effect of legend. And yeah, I'll show you that when that's done. Holy moly. All right, so I just got the three done. And I think it looks phenomenal. I flip in all of these. Each, every single one of these HSV hues is precisely plus five, which is something I almost never do because I'm always just lazy with it. But I think it flipping paid off because look how good this looks. That looks so good. That looks so sick. I'm so excited to implement it. I got the pulse triggers here, so I'm going to align these, make this black blending, and I suppose I'll set up all the triggers for, like, the pulse triggers at least. I still need the move triggers, so. Well, oh my gosh, these pulse triggers actually made a sick pattern. Look at this. This I like all I did was align X and Y. I, I had no input in the making of this. So this actually this little mathematical exploit might be useful for making like sick effects. Because look at this. Look what this just made naturally. I had to move two things and it just made this sick like almost it's not exponential but it's like look at that 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 happened mathematically dude that's so lit looking oh my gosh anyway back to the yo uh hey yo what the frick look at this so i'm vibing i have these triggers i was aligning x and ying them and undoing and redoing and for some reason it came out like this where i mean you can see this it's smooth and you just look at this, like, well, maybe it's some weird optical illusion. But then, check this out. Pay attention to where the triggers are and where the three is and when the three is lighting up. Keep in mind that the center line here is where you are in time. So look at this. That's so weird. No idea why I did that. That's an extremely weird and annoying glitch, quite frankly, because it means I can't actually, like, you know, do this. So, scuffer. All right, I got the colors and easings perfect. Check this out. I have it paused for a little bit on the corner of the three, like someone's actually drawing it. Look at that. That looks so good. That actually looks so good. Check that out. All right, love it. Absolutely, je hecking door it. So. Hog. So this is what the whole thing looks like. I'm gonna add triggers in a little bit and then I'm literally flipping done with the level like holy frick, dude All right, check this out Perfect dude, I flipping love it dude. Oh my gosh it's so good. I love it. I'm removing the exclamation mark by the way because I just think that's kind of dumb but I love how I did the three hand or the three hand the free hand three that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make it look less robotic and firm than everything else, which is what I did in Obama 2, but like in a different way, which I think is pretty neat. So yeah, 
I'm gonna apply triggers to this, make it move, make the end screen an actual end screen just instead of just like a static piece of thing. And I might make some dedications and I wanna hang like a candy cane somewhere in the level, cause like that's fun, so yeah. Gangster! Okay, actually I'm gonna eat pork chops. So uh, I'll come back, polish whatever I need to polish up left. I'm pretty sure I've got everything done. I'll make the thing, do its thing, and I'm gonna hang a candy cane on this block right here. But that's all after I go eat my pork chops. So until then, um, this concludes part one. I'll see you in part two. Alright, we're back! Um, I was doing a quick casual playthrough of this level and I noticed something instantly. So flipping these things need to be on like T1 because they're not and they uh, get consumed by the background. Or like the like the back background that makes the some of the effects possible and it removes like uh you know what I'm talking about. Flipping this one. Call him. Just call Big Boom Boom. Alright! So Let's add groups to these things so they can actually work properly. And it should look great. Let's do it, gamers. Let's get this done. By the way, just in case I wasn't clear, where when I said let's finish this, I meant let's finish this level by adding like move triggers and making the uh, the end art final. Just wanted to be as clear as possible. Alright! After a very, 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 very long time, I think the end screen is completely done. Check this out. Look at that. I'm flipping in love. I love it. Boom! And then you win. It's exactly what I want to happen, which has been happening to me a lot more lately. I've been able to execute what I want to happen in game, in game. So, yeah. I really like it. There's a thing where you can't like jump, so it won't. Ch okay, bad example. Normally it won't change the angle, um, and it didn't really right here. So like, if I jump, nothing will happen because there's a roof with an H block over my head. <sighs> so real quick, I'm gonna import a candy cane from Armadillo. <laughs> yeah, you'll be seeing the final level, and I'll upload it. So boob. Speaking of which, here's the flipping Armadillo end screen. I think it looks pretty neat. It's a little all over the place. But it's very nostalgic, so I enjoy it for that. All the homies. Ooh woo. Candy cane. Candy cane. Candy cane. Candy cane. Oh. Looking at a bag of vegetable straws that I've never eaten in the corner of my room. <laughs> so yeah, it's like a full bag too. It's not even like a little bag. It's just like a whole thing of vegetable straws. All right, I'm actually kind of interested to see what flipping whack colors this thing has when I deselect. That's, that looks pretty good. I mean, I'm not gonna keep it, but like that's surprisingly close to what it should be. Boom, candy con, con da canane. Boom, candy cane to get flipping candy cane, dude. I'm gonna move this one. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I'll flip and split this and pray that it doesn't look terrible. Uh, splitting in this game is horrible, but I'm just gonna move everything down except the stuff that would normally be over this so like hold on I'll, i don't even really need the co or the dot c so i'll have this like this normally <laughs> i'll just have this over the flipping candy cane 
wonderful. So it's youtube.com slash audiovisual. Boom, and obviously the only reason I'm linking my channel is because I flippin' built this entire level. Obviously, I mean, you're flipping watching a YouTube video on youtube.com slash audiovisual, so I don't know what you're... I don't know why you're asking these questions. And that should be the whole level. Got the end screen done. Ooh, let's check it out. Here's the full, finished completion of Obama 3. What a flipping journey it's been. So, but the journey's not over because I still gotta upload it. So, let's see the level right now in its full glory. Oh, shoot. I actually, not everything in the ball part is 11. Um, or invisible. I'm, I call it invisible 11 because that's just the... Uh, group I used for it, but I flippin' died and saw a gosh dang heck in 1.0 block, dude. That's not good. See, not everything's on 11, and that's not a good thing, dog. Big old boom boo. Also, there's a chance that this footage is gonna be recorded by XJT Force because he offered to do it, and mine's really laggy and his isn't. So, if my icon's a, a funny cat icon, well, then you'll know it's not me and it's him. But I don't know if that'll take place. So, yeah. Yo, gangster! All right, so for the Obama 3 footage, I actually had to go straight small screen mode because that way it lags a lot less because it's recording and it literally can't handle it. So, pogger. All right, so I was gonna try to just verify this right now on camera, but literally it's so laggy that some of my inputs just drop. Um, I'll replay it right now to show you what that's like. Um, but I'm gonna do this in no clip, and then you're just gonna have to believe me that I can beat it without no clip off screen or off recording. Which, like, it's pretty obvious that I can. Like, flipping, this is not a hard level, and I wouldn't no clip it. But the only reason I'm using no clip right now is for entertainment. Just so you know. This way, I can also probably go full screen mode, so I'll, I'll be right back. I just forgot the flipping most important thing. I flipping even told myself to remind myself to make this, uh,. Rotate trigger, um, normal again. Alright, future me. I set this to touch triggered so it wouldn't lag my game while testing it, but make sure to, like, undo that. Alright, bye. So let me do that. Because I literally almost forgot. Right here, boom. Hopefully, flipping, hopefully, hopefully, this is actually the final level now. And you can watch and enjoy the preview. The showcase, I don't know why I said preview. It's a, it's a showcase. It's a full level showcase. <laughs> All right, I may have missed the coin, but it was a level showcase, so who cares? That just proves that I didn't verify it right now. With that being said, holy moly, we just finished Obama 3. We literally just finished Obama 3. Obama 3 is done. Build 8 days is complete. And with that, <laughs> the level is uploaded. Actually, hold on. Let me change the description real quick. Merry Christmas, amigos. Enjoy this gamer all built on you oh YouTube.
hashtag build eight days and enjoy. There we go. Let's get the final details on it. Total objects was 44k, which actually isn't a whole lot, but who cares? So yeah, with this being said, the level is now uploaded. Holy moly, if you're, if you're watching this, by the way, uh, make sure to go comment that you were um, on the YouTube premiere in the comment section of Obama 3, because then I'll know all the Gucci gamers to write their comments. Yeah, that concludes the final episode, the finale, fin, end of Obama 3 Build 8 Days. Thank you for watching and sticking through me with the series and all the stress of flipping, building, and editing this thing. Gosh dang. I know future me right now is flipping, editing this, and hating life. But yeah. Thank you. And with that being said, my big boom boom Gucci gangsters. <laughs>